Let's just test it out. The only only uh, viable place to test out magic now is at Zami. So let's just go to Zami. No, what do you mean? Go do hard mode. Hard mode mole. Clearly hard the best. Mord. Hard mode. Hard mode. Hey everyone, so I have done quite a bit of testing with the tier 95 wand and orb beta and I, I can safely say that one of these, one of the three wand and orbs is much, much better than the other two. That one, I'm sure most of you who have read up on the effects will know that it's it's the one that's called Insatiable. It's the one that will consistently net you extra adrenaline on your basics and lower the cooldown of your wild magic. Now, let me explain to you why this one is so much better than the other two. So, firstly, let's talk about the Corruption one. The Corruption one basically empowers your bleeds. So, you know, in a more in-depth in, in depth way the the set effect is your your two bleeds your combust and your corruption blast will deal 30 percent more damage and when you use them you gain these stacks these essence of corruption stacks that the more you have gives you you know some other more additional effects but the effects themselves are not really strong enough to carry you know this like bleed meta with magic especially because magma tempest doesn't count as a bleed you literally only have two bleeds i will say this that if jagex releases like a th third or fourth bleed you could have an argument that this effect is actually good because you could just spam bleeds like crazy and just get keep getting resets but from my testing you have to get really lucky on the on like the the resets of your bleeds to really gain enough stacks in a meaningful amount of time and also when you use your when you use the fracture staff spec you aren't using bleeds anyways because your bleeds can't crit so it is it is literally just dps loss to press a bleed during the fracture staff uh special attack like in your sunshine so the the corruption one is definitely not the play at least right now if if they want to add more bleeds like abilities in the future then maybe it is but as of right now definitely not the play with only two bleeds now the insatiable and the and the destruct uh the versions of the effects the insatiable will basically every time you use a threshold or a ultimate any i think any ability that doesn't deal damage doesn't count for this i, I don't know why it doesn't say that like the way you read it, it it sounds like if i use sunshine it gives me the effect but it doesn't do that if you use a threshold or or an ultimate that does damage, you get two stacks that and it, and it caps at two, so you can't get more than two at a time. Two stacks that that basically empowers your next two basic abilities to grant you extra adrenaline and reduce the cooldown of wild magic. So, the insatiable one is a guaranteed six second cooldown reduction. And the Destruct one has a 35% chance of just resetting the cooldown. Now, let me explain to you why... The ins it, it might seem like, if you just read it just t side by side, that they're, that they're almost the same. And maybe the Destruct is even better, because technically, if you look at the math, on average, the Destruct will, you know, net you more chance of, of resetting and stuff like that. But that's not true, because... The the effect that the you know the effect that the, the destruct wand and orb has to reset your wild magic only applies on damaging basic abilities. When you're in a sunshine and you're like you know killing Zami or killing whatever, you're spamming a lot more of other abilities than basic abilities. You are using greater concentrated blast, you know, uh, quite a few times. But you're also throwing in, you know, Asphyxiate, you're also spending, like, the full cooldown of, not the full cooldown, the full four hits of, um, Tendrils. 
you know, your Omni Power, your, you know, all the wild magics as well, you're actually not using basic abilities that much at all. So when you actually press the basic ability, more often than not, you're not getting the reset. So more often than not, this effect on the destruct is not even doing anything. You're may you're maybe using you're maybe yeah you're using greater concentrated blast like four or five times, and you're not even gonna get a reset on it. But on the insatiable one, you're getting a you're getting a guaranteed six second reduction, and a lot of the times when you're in your sunshine, that six seconds that you you reduce your cooldown that's completely guaranteed is gonna basically be a reset anyways. Because you're you're only pressing a couple of basic abilities in your whole damaging basic abilities in your entire fracture staff um, rotation. Now I will say Jagex did say that the effects are they're up they're 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 up for you know changes, and a way that they could make the destruct one actually work is. If, if the effect to reset your ma wild magic is also applied to non-basic abilities. Because if it, if it worked on you using like Asphyxiate or you using Tendrils or you using Omni Power, it does have a much better chance of being way more explosive. Uh, because the Insatiable one is, you know, it's very consistent in what it does. There's no RNG on it. Um... But yeah, as of right now, the Insatiable one is so much better than the other two. Oh! 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 I freaking have my praisals on! <laughs> okay, oh. I'm just... Okay, I'm just gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. The, the the corruption does not feel right because you do not use any bleeds in the staff spec. So wh like why? I don't think the corruption is it. Like like where are my stacks? I just I just use two bleeds. It's fine. Is it? Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. Gold Wrath of Chaos. Okay. Bro, why is there a Siku tree seed in my inventory? God freaking dang it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Not switching. No switching. No one saw that. No one saw that. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Mm -hmm. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. I got distracted for the Siku tree. See? Nice. Nobody saw that. We're just getting used to the key vines. Mm -hmm. Wheel time? <laughs> Am I doing wheel time in the combat beta? You owe us a lot of wheels then. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's a lot of wheels. That's a lot, a lot of wheels. Okay, okay, we'll do wheel time. We'll do wheel time. I'm remembering, I'm remembering. I'm remembering. Okay, now I put my EOF on. Press EOF. Yeah, no more switching. No more switching. We here at Jagex Rs3, we do not switch anymore. Switching is dead. Should. I'm just I I I'm not feeling the uh the bleeds. Maybe maybe Okay, I will admit there is a little bit of user error in the fact that, like, I might not be bleeding as much as I should. But why? Especially at Zami, like, 
there's actually not that much time you're not in you're not in the fracture staff spec so why am i even bleeding like I'm, i don't have much time to bleed anyways frick my four ticky i actually lose freaking the four ticks Wait, 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 wait. Is this actually DPS loss? This freaking bleed one? Because I don't have the four tick. Wow, it's so weird. You can magma tempest with your magma tempest with your shield on. Because of the change. Interesting. That's actually that makes doing Zami a lot easier at some points because you can have your shield on. Like you can have your spear shield on when you do that. Okay, I mean it was it was faster than 14 minutes. But honestly, I think I was kind of saved by the uh Bro, why was that chest 36 mil? What the frick jackets did you do with your prices? <laughs> okay, see, now I'm expecting I'm expecting my wild magic to just freaking go Insane off cooldowns, but it's not really doing that. Why? 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 Why is my ma wild magic not going off cooldown like crazy? See, if I use it now, it should go. Off oh, it did. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Wait, no, no, no. I see it. 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 I, I stand corrected. It is working. It is working. <laughs> it is working. Look, you see the cooldown? It's just going up. And now I got another wild magic. You see the cooldown? It's going down. It's going down. One more and I get another wild magic. Okay, this is freaking powerful. Yeah, that's really, really good. Now, is it even better than four ticking off? Uh, okay, so, so now it, the game becomes... How much can you spam wild magic in the sunshine? Which is actually very, very... I'm lagging like crazy. Holy frick. I mean, the thing, too, is, like, once you get a rotation more down-packed and you can control... Because that one definitely seems a lot less RNG, because it's just... Yep. you. The set cool Use, like, like you, you can use, like, hey, use threshold X, threshold Y, you get a wild magic reset yep. kind of thing. Or I guess it'd be like you use it and then you use two basics and you get another wild magic, something like that. Yeah. It, it, it seems like three basics is when you'll get a full cool reset. Mm -hmm. Why are people saying G Conk with staff is looks weird? Why are you even using it with the staff? What is over there? What the frick is that? Well, no, no, it's the that's the one where like it would look hilarious because it's clearly not designed to. I mean, let me use it. Use the staff. Freaking thing out of the way. Let's see what it looks like. Oh. Okay. So, <laughs> they literally just... They just kept the same animation. You just have a staff on. Just one of your hands is just free-balling, and the other hand just is just waving around the staff. Okay, that's that pretty much exactly wonderful. what I expected, on. I am going faster. But not by much, but I also, uh, there is also definitely some user error. Also, look how much this chest is worth. 33 mil. This something is not correct here. Okay, so I'm gonna wild magic. Let's, let's try to get a reset. Oh, I got a reset. Oh my god, there we go. Wild magic. Oh, another reset. <laughs> Holy frick, this is hilarious. Use Tendril. Oh, another reset! Oh my freaking what is happening? I think my biggest problem with it is the reset only procs on basics, and you're actually not using that many basics in a fracture staff spec. You're you're you want to spam your um your threshold and stuff and ultimate way more. So there is like a little bit of anti synergy. That, that just further, that further cements in my mind that the Insatiable is just way better. 
Because I will say this, okay? I will say this. That if you if the reset could occur off of a threshold or an ultimate, then then the insane then the destruct actually might be not better, but definitely an argument to be good. But since it only works on the basics and you're not using that many basics, you're not having that many chances to actually reset your wild magic. Rasher Stav is gonna be EOF throwaway, yeah. It, it, you 100% need it in an EOF now. Because if you, if you don't put it in an EOF, if you switch the staff on to use the spec, you lose the, effect, you lose the wand and orb effect for 9 seconds. So basically, like, you only have, you know, like, 30 seconds of, of, the, of the staff. So you're losing a third of the time with no effect. So you, you need to put it in EOF.